Can you believe the game that I'm showing you right now was approved for 12 year olds? 12 year old kids, imagine your parents catching you playing this at 12. I can't be the only person that thinks that this is a little bit weird that 12 year olds are allowed this game and to be honest I don't really understand why adults buy it either. The game is called Rumble Roses XX, it came out in March 2006 exclusively on the Xbox 360 despite being a sequel to a PlayStation 2 game that came out in 2004 and in theory it's an all-female professional wrestling game, but in practice, it's absolutely a professional perverts game created specifically for people that want to ogle big anime biddies. Now, don't get me wrong, I haven't necessarily got a problem with y'all out there that enjoy ogling some big anime biddies. I mean, I know it's a thing, but, 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 oh, but. But surely there's easier ways of doing it than buying this game. I mean, surely there's easier ways of getting your big anime biddy fix, the internet, than buying this game. Maybe not if you're 12. Maybe if you're 12, this is the only way to ogle big anime biddies and, and that's why you bought it. I can understand that. Now, I knew nothing about this game when I bought it from my local charity shop or thrift store if you're American. I got it for £3, which I'm told is a big win. So, you know, I was happy with that. Obviously I saw the box when I bought it and I kind of knew what I was getting into, but I thought it would be a bit more subtle, like here's some wrestling, some more wrestling, here's a little bit of boob. But no, it's it's all boob, like honestly the whole game is just boob. I'm actually a little bit concerned that YouTube will like age restrict this video or something, but it's all from a game that's for 12 plus year old. So YouTube, if you're watching, check this out, 12 plus, all of this footage from a game that's rated 12 plus. It's okay for kids, sort of, 12 year olds. I mean, I was drinking cider in forest and stuff, but most 12 year olds don't do that anymore. So yeah, 12 year olds, approved, approved. I, I don't know what the fuck this is, okay? It's just something sweet for the fucking kids, okay? Damn, you, you gotta stay with me now, shit. Anyway, grab your life-size body pillow of your favorite anime character and strap in for this incredible review. Let's just get it over with, you know, the quicker the better. Okay, so I'll start by showing you the strangest stuff in the game because I know that's what you're all here for. I mean, you don't have to lie to me. This is a safe space. I know why you've clicked on the video. The intro cutscene doesn't exactly shy away from laying out exactly what this game is all about from the beginning. And I, I can attest, it is just this. It is this all the way through. So strap in because if YouTube doesn't take this down now, I guess we're, we're going ahead with this, okay. Apart from that intro, what really confirmed for me that this game is for absolute perverts was when I found this match type, the Queen match. No, it has nothing to do with Queen Elizabeth II, I'm sure you'd be happy to hear, or any other queen for that matter. No RuPaul, no nothing. Now, I've played a lot of wrestling games in my time. I am a wrestling game nerd, but none of the matches had stipulations like these. Basically, it's a normal match, but you get to pick from this pretty extensive list of punishments for the loser of the match to do. Everything from tickling and yoga to kittenish actions and sexy posing. Out of fear of getting banned from YouTube, I picked tickling, but the fact they've included options like sexy posing in a game rated 12 plus is just absolutely wild. I mean, if, if you want to see this shit for yourself, I guess just Google it or stick on YouTube or something. Anyway, I'm not here to fulfill your dirty fantasies. I know this is a safe space, but clicking sexy posing, it is... It's a step too far. Anyway, I fired the match up and we're fighting at some sort of beach island location. Looks like a lovely place for a holiday. Then the wrestlers come out and boom, straight away you are getting the most in your face camera angles possible in a good three minutes worth of just prancing around before your character even gets to the ring. It's just so blatant that it's actually funny. There's no subtlety involved in this at all. The developers were obviously like, we know the fans of this game have bought it strictly for anime jugs. So let's give them exactly what they want. And boy, have they delivered already. Eh, uh, fair enough, I guess. I mean, you know, you know your audience, so yeah, cater to them. The audience is you, by the way. If you're watching this, it's probably you, right? Don't lie. It's clear as soon as you get into the actual match that the gameplay itself is simply an afterthought. It's an interlude from jugs to jugs and simply a further excuse to ogle anime ladies whilst pretending you actually give a shit about this game. Look at some of these moves, again, specifically created so that you can see what these characters ate for breakfast, basically. 
The gameplay itself, I was reliably informed by TikTok comments, uses the Smackdown Here Comes the Pain engine, a game from three years earlier on the PlayStation 2. But obviously on Here Comes the Pain, there are no moves that specifically focus on getting the best angle on Brock Lesnar's ball sack. You and me, Braun Pain is match right now. I win. But aye, the, the gameplay is a mix of your standard wrestling mechanics and a bit of Street Fighter as well. There's a specific Street Fight game mode, but we'll come to that later. The other unique thing, I guess, is that you can do special moves that are essentially finishers, but they have this kind of anime intro. The whole thing feels quite slow, it feels clunky, it doesn't flow well at all, but it's like... It, it's okay, I guess. It's like fun for a match or two, but no more than that. You'll notice the bars at the top of the screen. One is obviously like the health bar or the energy bar. Pretty standard stuff. And the next one, the humiliation meter. Obviously. That fills up specifically when you perform a humiliating move on your opponent, like slapping their arse or exposing the crotch or teabagging them or something. And when it's full, you get this incredibly uncomfortable moment. Oh, you thought that was it? No, the game really doubles down on this whole humiliation thing, buddy. And when your opponent's bar is full, you can hit them with a special H move. This game actually makes me feel so dirty, and I'm sorry if I've made you feel dirty watching this. Feel free to have a scrub after this. Um, you'll need it after what happens next. But wait! There's more! So I win my first ever Queen's match, I get the pinfall, and up next, it's my reward. It's showtime, yay. So, oh, oh, uh, I am, what, what's happening? I'm tickling my opponent with a big Mickey Mouse hand. I can stay in this mode for as long as I like and enjoy 360 degree camera angles, so, yeah. Um, let's, let's, come, let's stop, stop this, stop, stop this now, let's stop. Yeah, I'm not even really sure what to say at this point. Uh, approved for 12 year olds though, yay, yay. This game sure does feature a lot of TNA and I'm not talking about total non-stop action. I'm talking about Teddy's and farce. Anyway, back to this game's weird features. You thought we were done? Oh no, honey, we're just getting started. Uh, oh. Another strange feature is that your character's muscle and body shape apparently changes depending on what you do in the matches, which is obviously a great feature on GTA San Andreas, very fun, but on Rumble Roses XX it only adds a further kind of sleazy vibe to the whole thing. Ugh, again, makes me feel a bit dirty. Another feature that doesn't feel dirty on any other wrestling game is the ability to manually change your character's appearance, it's, it's pretty standard stuff. But you know on Rumble Roses, it's being abused. You'll know why they put this feature in this game. You know what people are doing. They are taking that dial there and they are turning it all the way up. Obviously, I've just done it here for the purposes of science and this video so you can just see, you know, how strange this game is. Um, uh, it, science. I've done this for science. Science! I think we need to add a few more polygons to Stephanie. The final thing I want to highlight before we all go get a shower is the shop. Obviously, it goes without saying that you can buy more skimpy outfits for your favourite gal with the coins that you earn from matches. That's not really that strange in the grand scheme of things, but I feel that the next part is. You can also earn enough coins to buy a camera, which then unlocks photo mode, where you can pose one or more of your favourite roses in various uncomfortable positions and in various locations and snap away at whatever you like. I wonder why this was included in a wrestling game. Hmm. I've really no idea what this feature could be used for. It certainly couldn't be abused in any way, I'm sure. Very wholesome. Very, very wholesome. Something sweet for the fucking kids, okay? Honestly, brothers and sisters, I just don't get it, man. Like, please help me out in the comments if you're into this sort of thing. No judgment, I swear to God. Please let me know why you'd want to go to this effort to see cartoon jokes. That's all I'm asking. I just, I just can't get my head around it. Help me in the comments. I, I want to understand, but I, I simply cannot. So I need someone in the comments who has bought this game who enjoys it, who is a fan of this stuff, to let me know just why. Honestly, I promise, no judgment. I know I might have seen, seemed like a bit judgy before, and I'm sorry for that. No judgment in the comments. If you like big anime jokes, specifically on Xbox 360 games, specifically where you have to go to the effort of buying the game and then playing the game to see the big jokes, 
Tell me why. Because the game has no real plot and just drops you in this map after you pick a character with literally no direction as to what you're supposed to achieve, I decided it's a wrestling game so I'm gonna win a belt because, you know, that's what you do in wrestling games. Aside from the Queen's match on an island resort, you can also wrestle on a skyscraper, in a valley, in an arena, or in a street fight. In the Street Fighter matches, instead of pinfalls and submissions, the aim is to knock out your opponent in a best 2 out of 3 fight. Like, like, like the game Street Fighter. I don't know why I'm explaining it, it's, it's Street Fighter. Quite fittingly, the Street Fighter arena looks like the place they shot tattoos, saucy, all the things she said music video. If you get that reference, I guess you're as old as me. Um, but honestly, in the early 2000s, when I was like 9 at school, this was the most exciting thing to happen since Bionicle. Did you ever watch the Bionicle movie? Yes, 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 I Not did. Not the Metro Nui ones or God no. forbid the 2009 one. Like I said, there's no direction as to where I should fight and why, so I just started going around the map fighting at each location. I, I thought that made sense. I noticed a popularity bar at the end of fights, so I assumed that if I got that up, I'd be offered a title match because all of the matches are randomly generated by the looks of it. A couple of times I was thrown into handicap matches and other times tag matches with my teacher, who was apparently my tag partner because, I don't know, sexy teacher, student or something. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. I kept winning and the popularity was just not going up or occasionally it would go up ever so slightly but there seemed to be like no rhyme or reason as to why. I guess no one was supposed to care, you're just supposed to shut up and look at the boobies. So I googled it, not the boobies, I googled how to, to, to win and there was something on reddit about if you're a bad character or a heel in wrestling terms you've got to do more street fights for popularity. Long story short, that didn't work either, and after 4 matches this game gets really tedious, so you can imagine after 24, I just didn't want to play anymore, and um, I, I just stopped. When you actually take a second to look past the TNA, you realise it's all just a huge distraction from the repetitive and unrewarding gameplay. It's not a terrible game by any means, some of the entrances are cool, the arenas look pretty cool, it's just not got a lot of depth both in terms of gameplay and just general taste. I don't know who this game is appealing to. I, I mean, I do, but just just, just Google what you want to see, man. Just, just, the, the internet, just type it in. Type it in. Big anime jugs. You could have saved yourself so much time and so much effort. Big anime jugs, big wrestling anime jugs, whatever. You'll find it. You didn't need to buy this, bro. You didn't need to buy this. The truth is, no one's buying this game because they want the glory of winning a title. They just want to earn enough virtual fart bucks to buy a virtual DSLR camera, to take photos of virtual women and their virtual racks. But, I mean, hey, look, who am I to judge? Each to their own, live and let live, and all that. Anyway, uh, I guess this is a review, so um, we'll give it 5 out of 10. Not enough focus on the gameplay, too much focus on the titty. The, the titty. Titty. Gameplay. Titty. Whatever, it's a fucking... It's, it's, it's okay. It's, the game's fine. It's, it's a game. Anime. Tea game. Play it if you want. Don't... If you don't want. If you don't like... Yeah, don't do it. Don't play it. Ah, fire attack. I am off for a shower in some industrial strength bleach so that I can actually feel clean again. I'll see you next time when I review another game that the world has forgotten. Another atrocity. Leave your comments below on which game I should play next, which game I should review next, or, or whatever. Um, and yeah, Hit subscribe. Subscribe as well. Put Arcade. TikTok. I do TikTok as well. The quicker than this. And it means you can get back to your life and, and, and do all this stuff. So follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to this for more long videos, more game videos. Let me know which ones I could review in the comments. Bye. Hey, oh boy! I was just, I, I was just, um, the controls. I needed to know how to grapple or, or do the, do the finishing moves, do the kicks and the, the stuff. Uh, yeah, I wasn't.
there's nothing 